He said, uh, do you remember that battery of uh, standardized tests that everybody uh, took a month ago? And I said, yes, I remembered that. And he said, uh, well, you scored very well on the uh, science aptitude. He said, have you ever had a test like that before? And I said, no. And he said, well, in fact, you scored so very well that they were sure you must have cheated. <laughs> After that, everything was science. From the homemade telescope that placed her among the top finalists of the prestigious Westinghouse High School Science Awards to her professorship at the University of Washington. While there, Dr. Chilton became interested in crown gall disease, a mysterious tumor that attacks many economically important plants. After an intense series of experiments to determine what causes the disease, she made a completely unexpected and truly amazing discovery. A bacterium was transferring a piece of its DNA into the plant. Dr. Chilton's discovery shook the scientific world. This was the first time anyone ever saw an organism from one kingdom transfer its DNA into an organism of another kingdom. The equivalent, however unlikely, of a cow putting its DNA into a blade of grass so that the grass produces milk. And I can remember the moment of truth when I got to the critical point in the uh, data and I saw suddenly it's there. It's really there. It was just an amazing uh, moment. It was unbelievable. Chilton's group submitted its manuscript to the premier journal in the field. But, as if being haunted by the doubters of her high school aptitude tests, the journal reviewers balked at her findings. The discovery was just too revolutionary for many scientists to accept. The reviewers made her do one more experiment just to make sure. Her paper was finally published in 1977 and went down in history. But Dr. Chilton was not done yet. She had an insight, an amazing leap out of the box that promises to transform agriculture with a new green revolution. Until recently, it took generations to breed new plants. But in an astounding feat of biological engineering, Dr. Chilton discovered how to remove the harmful genes from the bacterium and insert other beneficial genes that the bacterium would then insert into the plant immediately. I realized that uh, to some people, the idea of putting uh, genes into a plant cell may seem sort of dark and strange, but uh, I've grown up with this technology and to me it's a, uh, it's a very uh, plain, ordinary, everyday process. She may consider it a plain, ordinary process, but the world is reaping the benefits of this amazing technology in the form of corn and cotton plants that produce their own natural pesticides, fruit containing vaccines so that painful shots are no longer necessary, and rice high in vitamin A to feed starving children in the developing world.